guys, what's up? Welcome back to Amazing Animals Inc. Um, today uh, is a cleaning morning. Uh, Kylie's got some cleaning to do. Yep. I'm gonna chop some chicken. So um, just some husbandry, some basic care, some diets, some cleaning. Um, yeah, typical day. Uh, pretty much what we do all day, every day is uh, cleaning and feeding and prepping and caring for the animals. Make sure they got the, uh, the best setup that they can here. Yeah, so uh, we are going to feed, clean, bleach, chop, chicken, cats. Here we go. <laughs> What are you doing? Giving the animals some food and enrichment. Hi Marvin. What is that? So this is a fun little puzzle feeder that we got. We're gonna put some mealworms in it. And Marvin is gonna have to get them out. Let's see what he wants. Hey Marv. That's a Marvin. We had to order a new Southern Fox Squirrel sign for Miss Ellie. So um, we get our signs custom made uh, with information on them. So that way our guests um, have a little bit more information in case they're visual learners that we're talking during our whole tours. But um, we also do the signs so that way people can kind of see and read and know like, you know, where they're from and their, their ICUN status and all that good stuff. So signs on every exhibit. I think we now have signs for every single animal out here. So um, it's expensive, it's a lot of work, but it's well worth it. It's kind of the finishing touch on a lot of our exhibits. All right, so this morning we have our screech owls and Bingo and Dill, our marmoset and armadillo. Um, their exhibits are getting a little green with all the algae when we get so much rain and then it gets so sunny, algae grows like crazy. So we are gonna be bleaching off all the decks this morning. We got a little bit extra time. We don't have a tour till 12. So I uh, always like to get some extra projects done. So uh, we're gonna bring Dill out. We're gonna set him in his little playpen so he can dig around and uh, I'm gonna bleach everything down. So Dill is our three-banded armadillo. They are um, the, one of the smallest armadillo species from the rainforest and the grasslands uh, outside the rainforest of Central and South America. And believe it or not, they are closely related to sloths and anteaters. And they're in the Exarthra family and they have space between their vertebrae that allows them to curl up into this cute little ball. He's the cutest little armadillo here in Florida and Texas and Southeastern United States. We have um, seven and nine banded armadillos. Um, and uh, Dill is a roommate with Bingo, our marmoset. Dill is nocturnal. He comes out at night, kind of crepuscular, sun setting and sun um, rising. The marmosets are diurnal. They're active all day. So while he's sleeping, the marmoset's active. While the marmoset's sleeping, he's active. So they're perfect roommates. So we're gonna let him play around. down the screech owls. They're just gonna sleep uh, the whole time that uh, I'm in here. So I'm scrubbing down the floor. Uh, I love having the decking. It's really nice and easy to clean, but like I said, it gets uh, a lot of algae on it. And of course they poop all over the place. So um, it's nice to come in here and get it all scrubbed down. I'm gonna scrub down their perching as well. Um, and then we'll hose it all down. It'll be brand new. So we clean these exhibits with bleach um, probably around once a month. Uh, we just kind of rotate around and um, everyone gets cleaned every day. We pick out poops, we, um, we hose, uh, we scrub things that need to be scrubbed. 
but a true deep cleaning. We take almost everything out. We scrub, we bleach um, from top to bottom of the exhibit about once a month for each animal. Um, some a little bit more, some maybe a little bit less depending on how messy that animal is. But um, cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. You wanna work with animals, you're gonna clean a lot. All right, so now that I've bleached everything down, I'm gonna rinse it all off, make sure it's nice and clean for them. We don't want any bleach left over, obviously, but it is looking so much better already. All right, so I'm gonna make Dill's diet now that his house is all clean. So he gets some insectivore, because armadillos are insectivores. So they like to in uh, lots of bugs. This is a great, healthy diet for him. And he's also going to get some fresh fruits and veggies and a little bit of mealworms as well. So he gets a nice variety of uh, yummy food. Get the rest of it made. And he loves grapes. Uh, bananas are one of his favorites. Celery, carrots. So he's a very healthy little armadillo. We'll chop it up real tiny for him because he's got a very small, uh, small little mouth. So we like to make sure he's got a uh, good sized piece of food that he's not going to have problems eating. Bingo thinks that's his food. Yeah, he gets so excited. So Bingo loves sharing food with Dill because Dill gets some mealworms and Bingo loves mealworms too. I'm gonna dry out his box. You go are you going to take a mealworm from him? Yeah, he got one. <laughs> you going to share with Dill? That's his food. And uh, I like to give Dill a nice, uh, clean, fresh blanket to snuggle in. We'll give him his food in his box there. Look at, he knows. The house is all ready, buddy. And then uh, we're gonna rearrange some of the furniture here and uh, fill up the water and we'll be good to go. So when you have multiple animals living together, we actually have to feed them individually. So we make sure everyone's getting their own diets. And when you're dealing with the skunks, they really, really, really like their food and they like everyone else's food. So we actually crate them up every single morning and they get about 15 minutes of alone time in their crate to eat their food. And um, it makes sure that they're eating properly, they're getting their food, they're not stealing from anybody. But then we gotta clean crates constantly. So we're gonna clean some crates. When we're building these exhibits all over the place, we've also had to sneak hoses and electric everywhere. Everywhere we build an exhibit, we have water and electric. So it's not just building an exhibit, it's running water lines, running electric lines, power. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Now we're gonna go make some cat diets. So thanks to our friends at Blues and Brews, we have um, chicken that is donated and um, we are going to uh, make our daily portions. Uh, we have to pull it out of the deep freeze so it thaws um, and then make daily portions so that way it's easy, we just pull a tub. We go through close to 45 pounds of chicken every single week. Um, each of the Joffrey cats eat almost a pound a day and our um, Bobcat eats about a pound and a half every single day. We did buy some beef. We do a little bit of red meat, um, but we do some fish and a lot of chicken. And whenever we do the raw stuff, um, they do get vitamins and, um, and uh, calcium and different supplements on the raw. We also do whole prey items. So they get um, guinea pigs, frozen guinea pigs, frozen mice, frozen rats, frozen quail. Um, so whole prey is the best, but um, this is kind of their favorite. So we, go, we have to go back and forth and and uh, give them a little bit of everything. So this is tilapia, just like you and I would eat. Uh, she has some frozen tilapia here. So this is all Willow's diet. This is all for Miss Willow. So Rocco the Quadamundi, related to a raccoon from South America, 
he gets chicken every single day. So we make him a weekly basket here. And um, it has about seven pieces in it. And every day we just grab a piece of chicken for him. And he does not eat the bone at all. He only really eats the meat. Um, he kind of gnaws on the bone a little bit, but most of the time we're picking up bones in Rocco's exhibit. So we have seven diets, seven days for the next week for Miss Willow. And this is seven days of food for Rocco the Quadamundi. So next we're making diets for the Asian leopard cat and the four Joffroys. So these are daily diets for five cats. So we're going to pretty much fill these up. So we'll do the beef first. Kind of spread out what's left here amongst the, the rest of the week. In the wild, Joffroys will eat a lot of birds. They'll eat a lot of rats, a lot of rodents, a lot of mice. They're going to eat, um, I've seen a video of a Joffroy picking up a baby capybara, bringing it up into a tree. So uh, big time meat eaters, these guys. A little bit of fish. So for these ones, we're going to make them a little bit smaller. The cats are a little smaller than Miss Willow. Alrighty, so now we have almost a week's worth of, of our small cat diets. And we're going to leave one out, or two out for the next two days, and we will freeze the rest. So these will go in the freezer. And we'll add... Like I said, mice, chicks, sometimes guinea pigs, um, quail to their diets as well for some whole prey. And before we feed them out, we put vitamins on everything when we do this kind of food. Thank you guys so much for checking us out today. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm a little tired. Chopping chicken. My arm hurts. It's, it's, like... <laughs> it's like... I do this every week. <laughs> <laughs> but good job, good job. Yeah. Liked a, liked a nice break. I it mean, a good workout. my forearm has definitely got a workout. That that meat cleaver is like <laughs> three pounds. And, I, and don't, I don't know how I still have all my fingers, honestly, from doing it all the time. And thank you to Bruise and Blues for uh, getting the chicken for thank us. Thank you for the chicken. Yeah, we and the bleach. They may have bought the bleach. Yeah, they get the bleach for us, too. I mean, we literally go through 40 pounds of chicken a week. So it's a huge And a couple help. bottles of bleach. Uh, yeah, huge help for that. Got everything cleaned. Um, and just uh, getting ready for tours now. Yeah, so <laughs> tours are coming up next. Uh, everyone's cleaned, everyone's fed. We got cat's diet made. Um, and basically, we just do it all again tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for the, for the love, for the support. Um, go out there, be nice to one another. And as always, do, do something, something amazing. amazing.